We're going to demonstrate our technique for arthroscopic anterior labral repair. Initially, diagnostic arthroscopy is performed. We identify a significant anterior labral lesion, as well as small area of cartilage defect that occurred from multiple dislocations. As you see, there's also a small GLAD lesion present as well. We percutaneously make a transubscap portal. Again, we use smallest cannula possible to avoid any further damage to the subscapularis. We use a bank card elevator and a rasp to clean the anterior glenoid to improve healing potential of the labrum. This is one of the key portions of the surgery to allow for further healing potential. At the six o'clock position, we place a Arthrex suture tack with suture tape. We use a passer to pass the suture tape through the glenohumeral ligament inferiorly in horizontal mattress fashion. Generally two passes are needed for the horizontal mattress. I like this technique as it avoids knots near the cartilage surface and allows for improvement of the labral bumper. We tie down the capsule and labrum to remake the labral capsule complex with alternating half hitches. With this increased strength and pull out of the suture tape, it makes an excellent anterior inferior bumper and tightens the inferior glenohumeral ligament. We then place a second anchor roughly at the four o'clock position. Again, we use a suture tack in this situation with the labral tape and perform a horizontal mattress construct. Once we have passed both sutures through the labrum, we tie them again with alternating half hitches. Again, to review my viewing portals, I use the posterior portal for grasping, an anterior superior portal for main working portal. I do a small transubscap portal for placement of my lower anchors. The reason I use this transubscap portal is data demonstrates that placing anchor this low is quite difficult without this portal and that this improves overall redislocation rate. In addition, you can see here, well, a number of my surgeries are performed in the beach chair position. For labral surgeries, there's been demonstrate around a 7% improvement in redislocation rate by using the lateral position. A third suture tack is used in this situation, though sometimes I consider using knotless fixation at the 330 position. Here we're doing again a horizontal mattress configuration. An interrupted configuration can be used as well, though I like the restoration of the bumper as mentioned previously by doing the horizontal mattress configuration. This is again tied with alternating half hitches and this secures the labral and capsule down and as you can see from the view here on the anterior superior portal we have remade a significant labral capsule bumper to hopefully reduce and eliminate further subluxations and dislocations. Following this, we probe the area to assure we have a secure labral bumper. After this, we release traction and perform an exam under anesthesia, demonstrating no further anterior load and shift.